I'm back, friends, and of course I got a haul for you. If you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Hey everyone, it is Stephanie with Three Queens Resell. And if you are new to my channel, where have you been? So July was my fifth year anniversary of full of reselling, and this August will be starting our third year as a full-time reselling business. So as a full-time re reselling business, we really rely on listing volume. Me and my husband work together. So I do all the sourcing, which I source at the Goodwill Outlet, which is paper by a pound. So it can be back-breaking work, but we are getting it done. So if you are interested in reseller content, be sure to click that subscribe, that bell notification, so that whenever I list upload a new video, you can be part of that and get notified. So let's get into, I, mean, I, I forgot what I got, to be honest, friends, but it's a big one. It is one, two, three, four Ikea bags and a TJ Maxx bag. So let's get into it. Okay, so most of these things, because we're doing the 30-day listing challenge, I think I'm going to list it all. We have plenty of stuff for auctions, and we're phasing down at auctions, and we're transitioning season, so we got just a lot going on. So this first up is a Billabong jacket, and it's lightweight. It's got like jacket vibes, but in front. Um, it is a size large, so we're going to get that one listed probably between, I'm guessing 30 and 45 for that. Now this one I picked up because I just like this style of dress. It's Knox Rose, which is a Target brand. So it's got that boho aesthetic, um, could be worn into fall. It's a maxi. Um, this probably won't go for much, maybe between that like $12 to $18 price point, but we will get her listed. Um, now this brand I picked up because first of all, I really like this mustard gold for fall and they were size 12. The brand is Crosby, which is sold at Nordstrom's Rack. I've not picked up this brand and friends, I don't always look at comps at the bins sorry <laughs> because i don't know why because it's like savage in there you gotta be you gotta be ready to so i don't want to be in the way like looking on my phone sometimes like i will look up comps um during the rotation this is motherhood maternity if you are new here i do have a um maternity live sell every two weeks on whatnot so i'll link the next one in the comments below so i pick up a few maternity pieces to go in there so this will go in that sale we'll probably start at about five dollars um these this okay you guys this was so like different i couldn't figure it out it's under armor but at first i thought that the sleeves were cut but it's actually made like this. So I'm not sure the comms. I'm not sure if I should even pick up Under Armour. Well, let me know in the comments below. Do you pick up Under Armour? But I'm going to try to find a stock photo because I feel like that will really do it justice. And we'll look up comps. But I'm going to say I'm hoping for about 25. I could be completely off base with that one. This is Prana. It's a size large, a cow neck. It's plain prana, um, but it is like cozy. And so hopefully I can get between that $18, $25 price point for that. Okay, and then this one, friends, is Basuchi. This is like Italian knit. Um, so it is viscose. PBT, I don't know what that is, but it's um, made in Italy in nylon. So let's see. It looks like it was in good condition. I sold something by this brand 
I can't remember, but I was, I remember like, oh, that I should look for that more. So that's what I did. Here's a couple little bralettes. So this one and these, I still do a jamble show. I still do some auctions, but, um, so I still find things for those, but like little lightweight stuff like this. So this is pink and it's a bra. I'll auction it. And this is Fabletics. It's a sports bra. I'll put this in our athletic wear auction. Um, this is Heart Car Heart. And friends, I know I'm done with men's, but like everything, not ever completely over. So we'll see. This is a shacket, a car heart shacket, size large. We'll see what we can do. Maybe that. 18 to 25 price range. And so friends, I found this. I'm gonna see if my daughter wants it. If she doesn't, then I'll sell it. But this, as you guys know, um, my daughter goes to Indiana University and that's the IU logo. And this is Victoria's Secret Pink. It's a full zip little teddy jacket. It's a size medium, her size. I thought she might like it, but if she's like, ugh, gross. I'll sell it. <laughs> you just never know. Like, if you have kids, like, I'm going to put, the, like, that one back there, the older one. Um, if, like, the, that one. Um, you just never know. Like, sometimes they're like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And sometimes they're like, look at you like, why did you think I would want this? So, I just never know. I'm, I'm just out here, a mom, doing the best that I can. Um... Next up, this is Ruby Road, and this is a 3X plus size. I really like the toucan print on it. I think I'm going to put it in our plus size auction. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I am doing well of a sale, and actually I have to sign up for it in like an hour. Um, I have my alarm set, but this is a Janie and Jack kids this is an expensive kids brand and so i saw this i'm not picking up kids anymore till after the sale unless i see stuff like this that i'm going to put in the sale so whatever i already have is what we're auctioning using for our kids auctions i'm not really taking in more um we'll revisit that mid-september after i see what clears out at the sale when i get back so that will go in the kids cell. Um, if you're new here, I am a sucker for a denim jacket. Um, so this is a classic denim jacket and this is Gap Factory. It's a size large. So hopefully I can get between 25 and 35. It just depends on what Gap is running them for. This is a linen blazer. I don't know why I continue to pick up this brand. Um, but this one is 100% linen. It's a size large. It is Gibson and it is an anthro brand. It's coming to the end of this season, so it might sit for a while. But I do love me some linen, so what's it going to do? Then these guys are Levi's. They are the 511 Skinny. And they are a size 29.30. So 5.11 skinny. Um, I haven't looked up comps, but we're going into denim season. So hopefully I can get at least $25 for those. On to bag number two. Bag number two, you know what to do. Okay, we have another black pair of denim. So these are the Sky High Skinny by Torrid. These are a 14 regular and they have some slight distressing. I know distress, distressing is on its way out, but you take what you can get when you're a reseller and you don't throw a fit. So I got this O'Neill backpack. We just sold another backpack for $35 and it is like back to school time. So we're going to get this one cleaned up and get it listed. Um, hopefully that 20 to $40 range. 
I look up comps for every single item, friends, and you should too, um, because the market just changes. I've been reselling for five years, and I'm going to give you an example, the brand Rails. I used to be able to get $30 to $35 for a Rails button down, and now not so much. I'm lucky to get like 20 for one. So make sure you are looking up comps because things change. And that is even for stuff that is already listed. If you have listings that are a year old, and I would do a delist and relist, but also check those comps before you relist and reset the comps. Sometimes it's more in demand and the item goes up in value. So just something to think about. This is Victoria's Secret Angels and it is a large little red nightgown. So we'll get that one listed. Um, this is an outerwear piece by J. Jill. It's like a Ponte knit red blazer coat. Um, the Victoria's Secret, probably about 25 for that. Um, between 18 to 25. I'm going to try for for this jacket about between 20 to 40. Let's see what we can get. And my heavier pieces, I'm going to put down there. I got a couple of outerwear pieces that I'm going to have to do my dry at home dry cleaning kit with, which if you want to see a short on at home dry cleaning or shorts on anything else that I do, leave me a comment down below because I'm trying to do more shorts. Um, sometimes I'll do something and I'll think, oh, that would have been a good like 30, 60 second video. But this is Columbia, which I think we all know what it looks like. But this one is a full zip and it is a size large. And I haven't sold a Columbia in a while. So I'm gonna say that 20 to $30 range. These are Nike and they are extra small uh, pant. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these friends. I can't decide if I'm gonna list them or put them, I'll probably sell them on Jamble and my athletic wear show because small sizes do really well there. And so, why not? But I'm sure I can list it now. I'm super sad about this because I just saw a stain. So, um, I source at the Goodwill Outlet, aka the bins, and um, I find so much new tag stuff that I decided that I was going to start um, picking it up and have a new tag auction. So every time I get to 40, 50 items, I will auction off um, the 50 new tag items that I have. So I got this one. This is a ballet bra um, and it is a 42 triple D, which is an, an odd size. Um, I don't want to say odd like outside the bell curve of average, but because there's nothing odd about anybody's body, but um, it's just not like a popular size. But look, there's these ink marks on it. So I'm still going to throw in the auction. I'll start it at a dollar and then people can do what they do. So this is another new tag. This is Vera Moda, size large. And is she is a maxi dress. Um, this is a pretty expensive brand. So I don't know if I want to just put it in the auction or not. So I'll look up comps and see. Friends, if it goes for more than $15, I'm going to have to list it. And then here's a new tag, Wild Fable tee that will go in the auction. The one thing about these hauls, one, th one reason I love to do these hauls, friends, not only just to get content for the channel, but I forget what I sourced. And so it also gives me a chance to like look it over before it goes on to the next step, which is washing. But aren't these cutie patooties? These are Stella Loose size medium. Man, those are so cute with that like detail on them. So we will get those. They'll probably go in an auction. 
just because I don't want to, I'll look up comps, but I don't want it to sit forever. This is Fashion Nova. It is new at tags, extra large. So this will be in our new at tag option. And friends, I will like, make sure you're following me on Instagram, Three Queens Resell, and that you are subscribed to the channel because when I'm getting close and get this auction scheduled, I will let you guys know. So, and I'll start putting the, the link in the video because I want all of my viewers to get first dibs on the new tag stuff. Um, and yeah, and we'll do reduced shipping so you guys can get a deal because customer appreciation. This is J. Jill. Whenever I find a nice J. Jill or nice like button front career cardigan like this, I like to pick it up. It's a medium, great size. So we'll get that one listed. Probably that $18 to $25 range. Now, someone, this is Van Houston. It's a size 12. Um, the bins were savage today. People were just throwing shit around. Oops, bad word. Stuff around. And this lady like threw this like right at me. Um, not like because like she wanted me to get it, but she was just like sorting. And I'm like, yes, please. So this is a nice little career dress. And the belt is attached. So I will put this in. I'm going to put that in my dry clean kit. And kind of hand do it. Because I don't want to jack it up. This is the Tog Shop. And I couldn't believe, remember if this brand. It's a windbreaker. A packable windbreaker. Like here's the back pocket where it like folds up into. I could not remember if this brand was like amazing. Like a really good bolo or not. But I was like, it's lightweight, it's the bins. And it's a size small. So hopefully it's a good one. Cause smalls can stick around for a second. Another new with tag, this one is Universal Threads. Size medium, like little tiered dress. This floral print. And it will go in our new tag option. We are on to bag number three. These are our Acara. They are a cargo, like camo cargo jar jogger. And I just really like these. I'm sure I can find a cool stock photo. They're a size large. So I'm thinking that $18 to $25 price point. This one's a plus size. It is A G B and it is this like gingham print, a smocked waist top. It's a 2X. We're going to get that one listed. This one is Altered State, which I don't have the best luck with. It's a size large, but I thought I could put added um, to our Jamble or whatnot um, show because I just thought it was too cute to leave behind. These are Liverpool, Los Angeles, and they are the crop um, jean. They're a size 10 petite. Um, like a little pedal pusher style. I like this brand for it myself and um, it's kind of expensive. So we'll see what others think. This next one is a, a jacket like blazer. So here's the sleeve I'll show you. But this is Ruby Road. There's a tag. And this is a size 20 women's. So hopefully um, but the larger size of that, we can get in that 20 to 30, 25 to $35 range. Then I got this Tahari um, Arthur Levine. This is a 24 women's, but I really think this pink color, this mauve like raspberry color, um, I think it might be one of the colors to watch for fall. And I just like the plus size, so we will um, put that in our, we'll get that listed. Oh, this next one um, 
is, I believe it's Elaine Bryant. So it is, and it is a 1416. And it is this beautiful maxi dress. I can't, it doesn't really do it justice here, but it has a lining in it. And this, it's like a halter. So we, I think I'm going to put this because of the seasonality of it. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in our auction and start it a little higher. These next guys are Kato. They are a faux suede and they have a little flair to them. They are a size medium. And so, yeah, we'll see how they go in our new attack auction. These are Nike, and they're a size small. They are cropped. Like I said, um, this Nike running stuff does really well on Jamble when I do my athletic sale. So that's why I pick it up. It weighs nothing, and so can easily. Now, I just saw a stain on this, and I'm not. Okay, so this one is Kato. It's a size 22. It has a stain on the back. So we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can work some magic in our stain treat with me video. And if we can, it will get put in the auction. Okay, so this friends is probably one of my favorite items in the haul. Hello kitty. So yes, it's a size. What size is she? It doesn't say. So I'm going to have to guesstimate. Oh, no, yes. It says extra large, but I don't think that, unless that's a kid's extra large, but I'm going to say probably I'm going to market it as a women's, so I'll put women's sizing in there. But, um, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Sparkle, sparkle. This is the North Face. And it is a nice quarter zip. And this one is a size extra large. So looking to get probably between 25 and 35 for this as it is the season for that. These are Airy. Now I pick up Airy solely for auctions. Um, it just sits for me when I list it, but these are extra small, like short but this will move in the auction rather quickly. And then we have another maternity item. These are, and I'm doing maternity every other Friday. Um, so twice a month until the end of the year, and then I'll reassess whether um, it's something I wanna keep doing. I do have all the maternity items listed and on our platforms as well as showing them in live auctions. So this is the brand Aglow, and this is a size 16 jegging and a lighter wash. So there is some slight distressing. So we'll see how those go. So we're gonna get into our fourth bag. So if you are still hanging with me, make sure you get a thumbs up and watch all the way to the end. And I'll share with you the items that I sourced for myself. So this one is a smaller bag. So this, these little guys are hunter boots and they will go in our well of a sale um, for kids items. And I'll probably ask for 20, maybe like 30 for them. These are Heelys and they're in good pre-owned condition. So these do pretty well on the resale market. Um, I'll list for about 25 uh, or 35, hoping to get probably about 25 for those. These guys are Spiris. And like I said, winter, fall and winter are coming. And these are a size US 9, so that's good. And they don't need a lot of cleanup, but we will get them cleaned up for photos. And 
25 to 40 for those. The next item are these Calvin Klein joggers. So this one is really expensive, even at the outlet mall. Um, and I taught middle school. This um, Calvin Klein spell out, pink spell out, Abercrombie and Hollister spell out are really popular amongst middle school girls. So those junior sizes, but um, you know, a lot of parents can't afford that. So they would be looking for that on the secondhand market. So just a little info. This is Loft. It's a size large. I picked this up because I really like the sleeve. Um, I don't pick up a lot of Loft anymore just because we have so much of it in our inventory. So I try to be selective of the pieces that I do snag. The same with this brand, Gap. This is a size large and I only picked it up because it's this chunky, substantial wool sweater. Like it's like a longer link, longer line sweater with a shawl collar. And I know that this was probably really expensive and it will do well in the winter. Um, okay, I can't tell if I see a stain or not. We'll see under the lights. This is a blazer, Talbots, size 12. I do like to pick up those larger um, Talbot pieces. Um, this next one is another new tag. It's Fika the brand. And this retailed for $42, but it's perfect for the fall. It's super cute. And it's a size medium. Little polka dot corduroy raw hem skirt. So that will be in our new tag show to be announced soon. And this is an extra small. I got it for Jamble, our Jamble athletic wear auction. It is a sports bra. Nike sports bra. So that one. Next up, we have this wool coat. The brand is Calvin Klein. So I have um, some heavier pieces, but I'm hoping to get more for them. This is a size small. Um, I'm hoping to get about 70, between 50 and 70 for this guy. This is a zero X. It is torrid and um, it is going to go in our plus size auction. It's a chambray button down with, I thought it had pearl snap buttons. It does not, just regular buttons. I'm getting thirsty, friends. But we are almost there. Last bag, then I'll show you what I got for myself. Well, I might keep for myself. These are the Zero Spur. They're $50 um, shorts. They're men's to X. And so they're swim shorts. They're going to go in our new tag auction. Maybe before I actually do a new tag auction, I do it. I will show, do a, a video with all. Or I'll preview all the things in like a YouTube short so you guys can like remember all the things. These are not your daughter's jeans, but they are like a linen cropped pant. A little wide leg there and they are size 12. This one is a champion sweatshirt size large and is it the reverse weave it is not i'm trying to remember to only pick up the reverse weave so this might sit for me for a second oh well you win some you lose some next is this cute little dress it might stay in my closet forever but i liked it it was jack by bb dakota it has pockets and it's super cute. 
Nice little dress for somebody you can wear. It reminded me of something I would have worn as when I taught. And then this one is Everlane. It's a size small. Everlane tends to get a, bring a lot of attention to my closet. And this is a nice like knit maxi dress. So um, here's the, let me show you the Everlane. It's just got a real basic um, tag, but um, it does bring a lot of like, uh, my Everlane pieces always get a lot of likes before they sell. Maybe I price them too high because I don't find the brand that much, but um, they do eventually sell. So, oh, what was this? Oh, this is another airy piece. Remember, I only pick this up for auctions. Now, some people have it listed in their closet. Um, but, and you know what? My daughter is in love with Aerie, and she just started the little one. She just, it's her first store in the mall that she can actually wear that is not a kid's store. So, because um, she wears the XX small there. So I'm gonna wash this and see if she wants it first. If she does, I'll give it to her. Um, if not, it will go in the auction. I'm sure she'll want it. She'll think it's so cool. Here's North Face. You guys know I have no problem picking up North Face at the bins. Here's a full zip one. I will do a wash it and do a little bit of sweater shaving. We'll do a sweater shave with me. Um as well so you guys can we can try out different sweater shaving tools this is a vera bradley i don't know the print i'll look it up it's like a little bucket bag um it's in really good condition some people don't pick up vera bradley wow. anymore it does sell for me um i'll have to remind my husband like to stuff it when he takes pictures of it but we should be able to get between 15 and 25 for that Okay, these were cute friends. And they're size medium. They're called Blue Bee Collection. But they have fringe and studs and they're high waisted. And they're somebody doing those. It reminds me of something that the girls in that movie, um, Coyote Ugly, where they dance on the bar would wear. I don't know why that such a specific re reference popped into my head. But probably because I heard that that song, Don't Fight the Moonlight or something like that. <laughs> this is Chico's. It is a size two. And this is one of those nice stretchy base layer tanks. This will go sell qu pretty quickly on eBay, especially because this is a nice fall color. Um, This next one is the brand Life. Right here. It is sold at the Nordstrom Rack for sure. And this is an extra small. I'm trying not to pick up extra smalls, but sometimes I can't help it. Okay, here's a bodysuit, friends. This is the soft A and F cozy bodysuit. It is an extra small. It's like a sweater. Um, I think I'm gonna list that because bodysuits can do pretty well. And last but not least, are you ready for it, friends? Hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed. This is Pelly Pell, and it is like one of those varsity letter jackets. I don't know how much these go for, but it definitely has streetwear vibes. And so, yeah, we'll see what I can get for it. Thank you so much for Join me for today's super long haul. And until next time, keep listing. If it's not listed, it is not going to sell. So consistency is everything. Join me on our listing challenge. I am listing 30 items every day in August. You pick a number that you, is a little bit of a challenge for you. like so. And for some of us, that's one. Listing one item consistently for 30 days would be a challenge so if that's you you do you boo but let's join each other follow me on here on youtube and instagram or tiktok and i will be showing you what i list every day 
and talking about my progress in sales and listings. So thanks so much for joining me on my reseller journey, and I will see you in the next one. I'm back. Psych. I told you I was going to show you what I got for myself in the haul, and so I'm going to do that now. So these are just like some things that I'm going to try on. If I don't like them on me, then I'm just going to list them. So the first item is, this is Gap, and it is a size, oh, I was going to stand up, but I don't have the camera. But it's like a duster cardigan, size large. So you guys know how I like to wear a sweater, so I thought this would be nice to throw over a graphic tee in the fall. Although it feels a little tight on the arms, so I think I'm going to list it, friends. I like my stuff a little looser in the arms. And I am losing some weight, but next is this guy. And this is Gap also. This is a size large tall. And it is this waffle knit like sweater. Thought this be cute to wear with like leggings and boots. So just to throw over knit sweater for the fall. I like it. I like it. This is definitely a keeper. And next, this is an old navy luxe size large tunic. I have plenty Old Navy Lux. You guys know I speak highly of this. So I know that will work. And then this is a Gap Large. I guess I was just really feeling Gap today. And it is... Let's see how this goes. It's inside out. Let me get it. On the right side, this one is like a cow neck sweater in this like lavender color so we'll see we'll see this one's a size large as well so i'm trying just trying to pick up a few things for fall for myself as i source the bins okay let's see how i feel well, It's a lot thinner than I thought it would be, but that's okay. Um, I'll just wear a, a t-shirt under it like I normally do. But I do like this, so I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to keep these treasures, these three, three, and I'm going to list the cardigan. So this one is going to get listed. So thanks for hanging out with me and checking out my um, little end of haul bonus um, the bins is a perfect place to source not only for your resale business but i often find a few things for myself see you in the next one friends